I thought that when you got hit, that he loved you. You know, oh, wow, I was like, wow, he really, he really loves me. You know, it took a long time for me to realize that it was abuse. And it, and it just kept evolving and evolving. And, and it just got to a point, you know, I, um, I was pregnant by him. And he would do all kinds of things to me. You know, my face, he beat me so bad one time that my face was sitting out like the elephant man, you know. And he had machetes and stuff, you know, hidden around the house and all kinds of bats and things like that. And you, you just knew when it was coming. I just knew when it was coming. Now how I found out about the Women's Center and Shelter, I had a friend here that worked here. And he had came to see me. I hadn't talked in so long that all I could say was, mm-mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because that's how it was when I was getting beat and stuff. I, it was no talking. You know, he had controlled my, what I thought, what I would say. So I figured if I just said, mm-mm, mm-hmm, everything would be okay. I was here during a support group. It was the first time I ever trusted someone that I didn't know enough to say help me. Um, I just didn't know that talking was a privilege that had been taken away from me. You know, and to regain it was so awesome. It was a, a wonderful, wonderful experience of how you all take care of us who come out of abusive relationships and how you help us get our voices back, you know, to be able to talk and to be able to talk without feeling fear. After I achieved so much, y'all asked me, did I want to go to college? I was one of the first ones. And I said, for real? Are you all for real? You know, I never been to college in my life. And I saw now I'm the first one in my family to go to college. I just want to give it back. You know, because the Women's Center and Shelter, I don't know where I would be without you. You know, you have given me an opportunity that's so <sighs> worth crying about. I'm a woman. It took me a long time to realize I had a name, and my name is Rhonda, you know? And, and now when I'm in school, I miss Rhonda. And, and, and my neighbors and, and everything, they look up to me, and, and, and my children, you know, they're just so proud of me. And, 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 and I'm smiling. I had, back then, I didn't have nothing to smile about. I just want to thank the Women's Center and Shelter for, for even letting me come here. It, it taught me about responsibility. It taught me how to, that it's okay to smile. It's okay to cry. It's okay not to put yourself in those situations again. It's just an awesome, awesome feeling to be alive.